<laughs> Doesn't this... Okay, I'm gonna say it, guys. Does this look a little bit like Trump to you? With the orange hair and everything? <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> What do we have here, my beautiful Starseed family? Yes, I got a couple of packs of cards. So we're going to look at September. We're going to do a very rapid, very spontaneous forecast for September 2020 globally and then for you personally, specifically, right? So if you're saying, why are you doing cards, Natasha? What is this? I always like to do something new. I used to have a YouTube channel where I did tarot only. Very successful, very wonderful. But then I decided I want to do other things besides for just the cards. So I started this amazing YouTube channel where all of you are here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for those who have donated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all a lot. So let's do this. Try it out, okay? If you don't like cards? Try it out. This is just a vehicle. This is just another channel of information. For tapping into your higher self that's all it is so let us see what the global situation will look like in september let's dive in guys are you ready are you ready okay let's do this my galactic council is there hmm two of coins reversed oh yeah it's gonna get a little more wonky money the economy there is going to be a lot of problems for the masses, we are going to be pulled in even a little bit deeper at the 3D level. We are talking 3D right now. We're looking at the global situation, 3D. So the two of pentacles reversed, obviously very stormy seas. We, we're like being thrown around like this. Things are ramping up, especially the money so be very intelligent in your investments not fear-based but just be intelligent we still are living in 3d partially some of you more some of you less so this applies to all of us <laughs> five of swords upright Ooh, look at this the big bullies up there they are ruthless they don't care they just want control and power and they're willing to do anything it takes. You see, this is a big fat bully. And this represents the people in power, obviously the cabal in high places and lower places. So they're going to they're going to tighten their grip. They're going to try to take everything away from you. They're going to try to make you slink away in fear. Obviously, we know this is happening at a 3D level. This is going to continue a little bit. So so don't worry about it. This other card wants to come too. Ah, oh, oh, look at this. The Two of Cups, upright. Remember, we're talking September. This is actually very good. So on one hand, the grip is being tightened. Everything is a little wonky. On the other hand, on the right hand here. <laughs> Doesn't this... Okay, I'm going to say it, guys. Does this look a little bit like Trump to you? With the orange hair and everything? <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, um, straight up, those who are new to my channel, I did do Trump in the Akashic Records, right? I checked him out. He is a Pleiadian Alpha Centauri, positively oriented soul. He is working for the liberation of humanity in his own way. Okay, so that's what I found already, just as a, as a base. Um, doesn't mean he's a messiah that's just what i found he is working for the liberation of humanity he's not part of the cabal so this card means that there are being co positive contracts being made things are forging themselves to our benefit and this has to do with trump i think he is going to come out with a few surprises in september and he is really going to forge some very strong um, agreements contracts He's going to do things that are very, very positive, even if they're behind the scenes, because this is a positive contract. This is a positive agreement between two equal parties where there is a win-win. So there will be agreements made, contracts made, things being prepared for a win-win. By win-win, I mean them and us. 
us as humanity, the masses, the population. So <laughs> I see Trump in this picture. I'll show you again, right? <laughs> I'm not political. I'm not even in the United States, guys. But um, you can't get out of that. You can't get out of, you can't pull yourself completely out of that. So video coming soon where I analyze all the politicians, <laughs> their starseed origins, and if they're cabal or not, right? All right. Let's continue here. We want to know a little more. Oh, 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 this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay. Four, cup, four of cups reversed. This is, I see this as very, very, very positive. There are solutions that are being worked on for the liberation of humanity, for positive outcomes that are hidden. Okay, you see hidden. Offers that are hidden. Solutions that are hidden. This is very, very positive. But in September, it may not look like it. I feel that this is a little bit of a hidden thing. Um, this one, a lot of preparation going on, um, a lot of offers being made, a lot of solutions being worked on, but they're not visible yet. On the other hand, you see, look, this seems, this is like the, this is like the cabal. <laughs> this is the negative side. This is the positive side. All right. So the hermit reversed is more repression, trying to put out that light, trying to stop the mass awakening trying to stop people from seeing the light, trying to put on that mass spell stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, so in September, it's, it's not going to feel like, oh, the Great Awakening is happening. We are free. They're going to clamp down. They're going to clamp down a little more. But on the other hand, look at this. Wow. Ten of Pentacles upright below the contracts. So I feel that what is happening behind the scenes is a plan to save the economy, to save most of the masses from getting into a really, really bad space, into a bad position, like total economic collapse, that type of thing. The chances are slim. The timeline is slim because, you see, we have many different people, being souls at all levels helping us helping us, working behind the scenes, so that we will not be impacted too much by all what's happening here, right? By the bullies, by the mass spells. So this is really, really good. So in September, on the other hand, there is preparation to stabilize us human beings in all ways. This is prosperity, this is happiness, this is completion, this is security, this is safety. There's a little Trump Tower behind there. I remember seeing this card a couple years ago and for me this is like the Trump Tower. <laughs> I used to say it in a negative way, now I'm not so negative anymore. I'm like, okay, just let's see what happens, okay? Let, let's see what happens. So this is very, very positive. So it's up to you, okay? Can you see these cards? It's up to you to choose whether to let your light be dimmed and buy more and more into the mass spell because of the physical situation that you are experiencing, or it's up to you to keep your vision high on your highest timeline. This is the highest potential timeline for us in the world, right? Especially in the Western world, right? So I am focusing a little more on the Western world because that's where I am, that's where we are. I live in Canada, so North America, Europe maybe. So that's what we're focusing on a little more. So it's up to you because this is a safety security knowing that you are safe. This is a safe card. This is the knowledge, the integration of that 5D vision belief, knowing that you are greater, that you are a creator being, that you are safe and sound and you will be okay okay let's take a look and also what i want to do um i want to do a little future timeline <laughs> political query i might do that in every couple of readings to see how we're we are advancing with the elections in the united states of america to see who Who's beating the other one at the win in that timeline? Poet. 
expresses soul insights in symbolic language. Very interesting. Okay, symbolism. Looking for meaning behind things. This is really important. This is what you need to pay attention to in September. The media, of course, I mean, if you still watch mainstream media every day, even with a, with a critical eye, you're going to get affected. Something that you listen to again and again, it's like a hypnotic thing. It goes deep, so stop. Stop. Listen to that which makes you feel good. Look, this is like two doves. Listen to peaceful messages. Listen to news channels that are positive, that bring you a positive outcome. Don't listen to the fear mongering. Look a little deeper, right? And for me, this card of poetry, of deeper meaning, is also your subconscious mind that is so easily influenced. You have to be careful what you look at. Do you want to look at beauty or horror? If you're looking at something, if you're looking at news, media, obviously you need to be informed a little bit, but we are very divided. Look at this. Even this, this here is divided. We are so divided between absolute rubbishy mass media horror scenarios and the divine plan, which is heaven on earth and paradise and 5D ascension that we are going towards. So those two timelines are like, eh, 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 eh. we're jumping in between them and oh, 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 you see? So you have to be aware, you have to be your own poet, you have to understand, you have to look deeper. Don't just go along taking everything in, all right? We know that. So let's, let's do a little, let's do a little calibration of the political parties. I'll do this once in a while and, and let's see how accurate we are. So let's see what's going on. So over here, I'm going to put Joe Biden. And over here, I'm going to put Trump. Just really simple. Future timeline scenario. Let's see who, who has a better chance. Let's see what's going on as of now. And you know, timelines, our timelines are changing every moment. So even if it's negative right now, that's okay. The timeline can switch one second before an event, as we know. So let's see. Let's see, Joe Biden. Ooh, ooh. Ace of Swords upright. That's a clear win. That is a very... If you, if you know the tarot, that's a clear win. This is like, long live the new king. The old king is dead. I have won. That's the victory card. So... He's, he's right now, it, it's looking good for him. It's not looking bad for him. A lot of things can change, remember. And this is in September. We're looking at September. Trump. Give me something here. This one. <laughs> wow. The hanged man upright. This is not bad. This is someone who is waiting, planning, scheming, Nobody knows what he's thinking. He's not in a hurry. He's not in a rush. He is making his move slowly and deliberately. He's just kind of observing. He doesn't take fast action. He's kind of observing um, and building things slowly. So this is more of a ruthless, like um, a little bit of a violent card like chop the head off the old king i'm the new king that's what this means right so this is like someone who thinks oh yes i'm gonna win we are right on top like a little bit of an arrogance there and it's interesting because a lot of people say trump is like that but look look he is not to be underestimated and look again i feel he looks like trump again too so he's he's well in the running but full of surprises, full of surprises and, and moving slow, right? That's what I'm getting so far. That's what I'm getting so far, right? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I'll do this a few times over the next weeks and see how this developed, develops. So remember this. Okay, my beautiful, lovely souls. Now that we have taken a little look at that, let's do some personal forecasts for you energies okay 
let's do it on top of this because this is what's happening right i like to do things on top of the old card set so i'm gonna do three piles one two three you see these one two three and i want you to choose one of these piles just tune into your intuition one two or three as simple as that let's go have you chosen and let's do some okay this is in the right order let's do some predictions let's look into september and see for you personally now in your personal life how things are playing out and see what kind of guidance you need all right so let's look at this one two three four five all right wow okay a lot of reversals here a lot of reversals so wow for you I feel that in September you'll have a lot happening you'll be put through the ringer a little bit it's gonna be up to you to uphold the faith for you you have to uphold the faith and be ready to make some choices that you can't see right now yet you have to be super open the fool is that one card that talks about moving upon faith you have to move on your faith on your intuition more than logic okay I do everything by intuition logic zero these days intuition is everything and it's worked very well for me because look at this you will get a big aha moment of something revealed that's not so nice it's like it's like you're gonna have a big eye-opening moment like wow really because look at this this is the thief the embezzler the liar um, being revealed being outed so you're going to open your eyes to some things in September that maybe you did not want to see or could not see at a personal level, but also at a global level. So these aha moments are going to be a little bit difficult for you. You're going to be like, wow, wow. And look at these two cards here in combination. They're both coming reversed, judgment reversed. <sighs> This is actually really good because I feel that your mind is going to be opened to new, new ways of thinking. You're going to drop some judgments. You're going to drop old ways of thinking and judging things and judging people. And you're going to open up to a completely new way of thinking. You're going to have to do that because the world is not the same anymore. This is what you're going to have to do. Um, I feel for you, old systems are going to crash. Um the way you think about money the way you think about wealth what's happening in your finances is there's going to be change and it can be absolutely positive for you it doesn't have to be negative it can be positive for you but you're going to have to open yourself to completely new ways of being oh, this table is wet my cards are getting wet no oh no look at this ah i'm getting wet here look at this it's horrible my goodness Okay, maybe it'll last the rest of the reading. So you're gonna have to be really, really open. And this card is really, really positive. So I feel that perhaps you will have a call. You, you will feel a call to go back home, to get closer to your family, to band yourselves together a little more, to pick up on old skills, qualities, knowledge that you have, go back to something open yourself to something coming back it can be very deep memories it can be past life memories it can be skills and talents from former lives from past lives from your starseed origin that you will need to implement so things are going to be very different for you this month okay they're going to be very different so that's for you that's for you let's get a card over here for you to embody this is what you need to embody rescuer rescuer wow interesting provide strength and support to others in crisis acts out of love with no expectation of reward wow okay 
<laughs> I feel that this is towards yourself, rescuing yourself. <laughs> so I feel that you have to provide strength and support to yourself, to your own person, right? You have to have unconditional love and confidence towards yourself. This is really, really important. Um, so shifting your mindset towards self-love, self, I would say, self-confidence, inner strength more than ever before. So I feel this is for you to rely on yourself completely, to rely on yourself, be completely open. Um, and if at all, you'll be providing support to others. So you're going to be the strong one. You're going to have to be the strong one in September here. That's, that's what it is. Let's get one more card for you. Ooh, 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 this one's coming. Wow. Creative explosion. Yes. <laughs> yes, creative explosion. That's what it's going to be. And you will be surprised what you are capable of. Creative explosion, not only like creative things and hobbies. The creative explosion is going to be around your whole life. It's going to be like mind-blowing new ideas that you need to call in you need to be open for so you can prepare the best for what's coming so you can be prepared so you can truly move into higher vibrations because part of being stuck in 3d is really sticking to old systems old ways of being old ways of working relying on people that maybe now you cannot rely on so creative explosion be ready for that and you can always ask your guides to help you with all of this if you chose this this these cards in number one pile number one and this resonates ask your guides for a moment say help me see what i need to see help me be open bring new opportunities and i'm ready for the creative explosion of my life i'm ready for a complete shift for something new for something better right our world is changing so are you going to wait for it to change you or are you going to make that change initiate the change that you want the type of new world that you want so it's either we sit back and wait and everything changes and we're we're stuck or we see that the world is changing and we create the change the way we want in an empowered way that's it right the world is changing but you have to be proactive and be empowered to be able to sway your reality that is changing in a way that you want, not into a victimhood mentality. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. So, wow, I hope my cards aren't getting wet. They're getting a little moist. I think they may survive this pile number two. If you chose this, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get some cards for you. One two three four wow wow all reversed except for one of them Woo! yeah okay that is just what we're moving through so for you wow for you if you've ch if you chose this in september be prepared to have a big change regarding work you may be out of work you may not be able to present your products, your shop, your business, your clients, whatever it is that you have, it may be a little bit difficult for you, right? Eight of, eight of um, pentacles reversed. The sun reversed. You may not get that support that you want in your personal life. The support may not be there. There may be a lot of negative thought forms that, that are there. Make sure you do not let yourself get drag down that spiral wheel of fortune reversed is also a little bit of a difficult time a little bit of a difficult time so all this is telling me that in september the circumstances around you may not look the best but 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 you know anything negative that comes into our life can be used as a catalyst for change and for creating something bigger when old systems fall which is very difficult for us to navigate through. The old systems fall, we get fired from our job, something happens to us, and then we can use this to move up a notch and to continue to get up again. And 
The High Priestess Upright is the last one. So it's like you can handle this. You have the depth and the wisdom to understand what is happening. So this may happen to you on a greater or a smaller scale. So whatever happens in September to do with loss of money, loss of work, change of work environment, um, negative thought forms, arguments, suddenly the support being pulled away from you. You have the feeling that you're in a cycle of bad luck. Mm -mm. The world is changing and you can stand above it. You can float above it. And every time something happens, you say, thank you for, thank you for this gift of taking that away so I can get something better. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to change my life now when I didn't do it before by, my, by myself. Thank you, right? It's time for you to really step in and tune into your intuition. You have to be an intuitive genius in September. I know you are intuitive, you are, but practice a little bit. Practice talking to your spirit guides. Practice high vibrations practice meditation every day that you're going to need this you're going to need this and then you will be fine then you will be fine remember this is the these are the 3d circumstances that are happening okay what do you have to embody the mystic of course revels in intimate union with the divine this is a double message you see this is the mystic and this is the mystic so <laughs> if you haven't done it if you haven't really put your attention and your focus on your soul, spirituality, you know, working with your angels and guides, working in higher dimensions, working with the 5D timeline, doing your, your meditation every day. You, now it's time to do it. You're going to need this. You're going to need this. And this also means stepping into more of a 5D mindset. You need this, my beautiful starseed souls. That's very important right now in September for you. One more card. This one, yeah. Hopeless release. Whoa. Hopeless release. Yeah, that's, that's all of this. You may feel a little hopeless when all this is going down. In a smaller or bigger sense, right? We all, all of us at some point reach a, reach a breaking point where we're like, ah, oh, what else can happen now? But it's important, and I feel the release is the re release of the hopelessness. When all this happens, let it move through you. The fear, the anger, whatever, whatever is happening, let it move through you fast. And then make the choice to become a higher version of yourself. Make a choice to use this as a, as a point to, to catapult forward in your spiritual growth. I mean, for this spiritual growth, for this, you don't need much. You don't need much. You just need a little bit of time and you can do this work. So I feel this is actually really, really good. I feel that a lot that's been building up a lot of negativity, negative happenings, people, jobs, things that are around you, you, you will be able to release them and let go of them. So that's, that's very good. All right. Number three. Let's see, what do we have for number three? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Whew, 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 whew. A lot of reversals too. Oh, wow. Okay. First card, excellent. Look, so I feel that you are in a, a good place right now. The beginning of September, you will find yourself in a relatively solid stable place that you have created for yourself now there's a lot going to go down in september a lot that's going down justice reversed so you may feel or if you have been fighting with something if there's been something happening in your life regarding legal things regarding justice regarding um official things you may have a little bit of a you may have a little bit of a bad notice, bad news. It may look bad in September for you right now, okay? It may look a little bad, but but look at this. It continues with these cards. It looks bad, okay, but it's 
it's a little bit of an illusion. Whatever is happening here, I feel is for the greater good later on. And it's also to release you from, this is really, for, okay. I'm seeing it like this. A lot of things are gonna happen officially. There, there may be jobs lost. There may be, you may be thrown out of your house. You may just have a little bit of a negative news point. But this is, this is orchestrated by your guides to save you from something worse. This is orchestrated by your guides to get you out of the system, to break contracts with a cabal, right? These are, these are the masses. This is us, you know, outside the big power structures, struggling and suffering as we have been in the last 10,000 years, outside the doors of the cabal, and this is reversed. So whatever is happening, this is what I'm getting, whatever is happening that may seem negative at first is to free you. It's to free you. It's to just free you. And sometimes if we have been in these systems all our lives, how are we supposed to free ourselves? Sometimes it's very difficult. It's just very difficult. If you're in so many contracts, you're part of the system, you're very deep. Maybe you're working for a company that, that is actually very, very bad, that is energetically not aligned to you. And maybe then you'll be fired, for example. And it, this will free you. This will free you from the chains and shackles and contracts of the cabal. Just as an example, doesn't have to be that drastic because you're, you're strong, you're standing strong. Maybe a minor loss. The moon reversed <laughs> and wow, the 10 of swords reversed, right? Wow, these cards, I would, have, I would have been surprised had they all been really happy and bright. So the moon reversed, you might not quite understand what's happening quite yet in your personal life. Things are very, very hidden. You may think, what, what the hell, what's going on? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? But it's very important for you to just stand strong, just stand strong, just keep really keep grounded. And this is to let you know that the worst is over. The 10 of swords is the worst place you can be. Is like the, this is actually the real death card. This is the card of like, wow, this is so deep. You can't go deeper. You're like on the ground, stabbed in the back, that's it. But it's reversed. So when this card comes reversed, it's always a sign of hope, a sign of reawakening, a sign that things are slowly going to get better. You're still in a, in a difficult space, but things are going to get better. They can't get much worse. They can't get much worse for you personally um, than, they will, than they are in September. Okay, so... A little difficult but but it is for the greater good it is for your greater good trust believe have faith talk to your guides this card wants to come the athlete oh look at this the athlete okay very good this card corresponds very very well with this one it says dedication to transcending physical limits including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. That is what she has. That is what you're going to have to develop. The athlete, just keep going, keep going. Get yourself into a routine right now. That's my, that's my advice to you. A physical routine, a spiritual routine. Your, your positive mantras every morning, not like turning on you know, your little phone, news and news, how many corona, how many, how many? No, don't do that. The athlete wins. Why? Because he is disciplined. He puts himself into a routine that in the end will help him to win and into a positive mindset as well. So this is what you got to do. You have to do this. No excuses. So no excuses. <laughs> okay, this one. Driving forces, ooh, wow. Oh yeah, driving forces, look. Your underlying strength and power is immense, is incredible. You, you, look at this. Driving forces, and I feel this is the force of your soul. This is the power of your soul. This is the power of your original beingness that you're going to need in September and that you can use. I use this every day. Every day I walk around with so much soul coming out. 
<laughs> I live my soul every day and I feel so empowered and so powerful. Of course, I get tired, this and that, but when I'm out there, when things are happening, I'm like, eh, I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right there no matter what. I don't care what. You could throw me into the jungle with nothing. I would survive. And this is a jungle. You're going to need to train a little bit for it, okay? All right, so that's it. That's it for you. So, September, not going to be easy, but that doesn't have to be hard for you because you are awakened divine beings that can stand above what's happening in the 3D plane. Remember, we, can, we stand in all the dimensions. We're in 5D, we're also in 3D. So keeping that higher perspective, keeping your sights up, your, uh, up to the divine, knowing that there is a divine plan, and I tell you, there is a divine plan. There is, a, there is an evil dark master plan, but there is also a divine plan, and the divine plan is unfolding. And it can unfold for you. Just believe in it. Have your vision high. All right. So, <laughs> so I hope you like this little reading. Um, I'm going to do another September forecast, more a channeled one that's a little bit different. So I'll have that up in a few days as well. Love you all. Thank you so much. Natasha Cosmic Empress.